hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to hide an existing report from a module in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition and this solution can be applied across all the odoo versions so what we will be doing is that so i'll go to the sales module so here you can see the sales is already installed and if i go to the quotations and if i open this record you have a print button at the top of the form and if you click on the print you can see you have the option to print the quotation or the order so if i click on that you can see you will be getting a pdf report from the system so let's assume a case where we have to hide this print option or we need to remove quotation bar order from the system that is user doesn't want to print this from the system so let's see how we can remove that so first of all what i will do is that i will duplicate this tab so i'll show how to achieve this from the code but from the ui also you can do the same so if you go to settings so i have already enabled the debug mode so just go to the settings and if you go to the technical and if you scroll down you will see a menu called reports so you can see you have an action called report under the actions you have reports menu so simply click on that and you have to search for the report name so here you can see our report name is quotation bar order so i'll search quotation here so you can see this is the corresponding report quotation bar order and its type is pdf so here you can see this is the corresponding report and at the top right of the screen you will see an option called remove from the print menu you will see a smart button and its label is remove from the print menu so simply what i'll do is that i'll click on that so you can see the label has been changed and if i come back here and if you refresh you can see it has been got disappeared so what happens if i click on add in the print menu it will again come back you can see it come back so on clicking this it will be removed from the system so if you need to do the same from the ui simply what you have to do is that you have to come to the settings technical reports search for your report and click on remove from the print menu so once you click on remove from the print menu corresponding action will get deleted so you won't see it over here so right now you will see it over here and if you need to remove just click on that so this is how you can achieve the same from the ui now we will discuss about how to achieve it from the code so rather than clicking manually over here we have to do the same from the code so we will be discussing how we can do that from the code so here we have the pycharm and here we have the om hospital module which we will be using to customize our code so this is the module so if i go to the views folder here we have sale.xml file so i'll be adding a couple of codes inside the sale.xml file in order to remove the report so first of all what you need to get you need to get the external id of the report so in order to get the external id of the report what you have to do you have to click on the debugger button then if you click on view metadata you can see xml id sale dot action report sale order so simply copy that then what you have to do you have to create in xml file you have to do like this a record id so in id you have to put that external id then you have to specify model which model we need to do you have to get this model ir dot actions report so simply i'll copy this model name from the url put it over here then close then field name equal to binding model id binding model id and you have to put eval as false so we have to set the field value as false from the code so simply what i have done is i have added two lines of code that is a record id equal to along with the id you have to specify the external id of the report so to get the external id of the report you can simply come to the reports open your report click on debugger button view metadata 
get XML ID. So this is the external ID. Then model you have to specify IR dot actions report. Then field name binding model ID equal to false. So what the system will do is that you can see I'll copy this field name and what I'll do simply okay let's upgrade the module first so i'll just restart the service and i'll upgrade the om hospital module so simply we'll copy the om hospital module and i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade the module so before upgrading you can see still the print button is here and if you go to the apps menu here you have the odoo 14 development tutorials module i'll click on upgrade so you can see what happens after upgrading the module so you can see the module has been uh, successfully upgraded and if i refresh the screen you can see the print button has been disappeared so what does this code do is that it will update this record so this will search for the record with id sale dot action sale order in this model and we will set the field value as binding model id equal to false so if you come to the ui and if you go to settings technical then to the reports so here you have the reports and if you search for quotation our report you will see add in print menu so if you click on add in print menu it will again come over here so if you remove it will remove you can see it will get removed and if you add it will again come and right now if i we upgrade the module again it will disappear so i'll just duplicate so what happens is that i'll click on edit view form so what i'll do is that I will make a field visible in the form view for just your understanding purpose so here we have binding model id so i'll just add that field to the view in order to see the data so i have made you can see binding model is sale order so what happens is you on clicking remove from print menu you can see this action is getting deleted and if you click on add in print menu this is again getting generated so from code what we are doing is that we are setting this field value as false you can see as false so right now here you have binding model now if you upgrade it will get empty so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade odo 14 development tutorials so the module is getting upgraded and if you refresh you will see it empty because we have set its field value as false and thus it get disappeared from here so i hope you understood how it works so if you have any queries feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us at odomates at gmail.com or you can directly comment under this video so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you